Last year, 2022, I traveled several times to Cross River State for work. Cross River State is a state in the southern part of Nigeria. It borders through Benue at the north and south with Akwaibom State, where I come from. It happens to be one of the closest states to Akwaibom State. Almost 50% of Akwaibomites were born and brought up in Cross River, including me, before Akwaibom State was separated to become its own state. Cross River is the home of beautiful landscape and popularly known for its tourism. Birthplace of the biggest street party in Africa, first colonial settlement in Nigeria, and lots of amazing places like the Budukatu Ranch and more. Join me as we talk Cross River State. adventure series and uh, I think it's been long I traveled or should I say this should be the second or the third time I'm, I'm actually traveling to Calabar this year and uh, this is the first time I'm vlogging ever since I started traveling to Calabar for the year so you know I feel blessed and I feel good and today I thank God for everything so probably we'll be going on a long journey from you to Clara is like two hours or less than two hours if we don't encounter traffic on our way going and we're going for something confidential don't worry i'll share the snippet to you guys to watch and, you know, and as you can see on my t-shirt i need it entertainment and maybe that's probably what this vlog is going to be about and let's just go see what's gonna pop up and probably I might give you some sleeping shots from Calabar Carnival. Mm. Don't worry. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, my God. 
das auch war. Tells you that those are that is a particular meal that is selling in Calabar. Okay, all those lies. You know, fit yeah. job that guy in football. You survive. Yeah. You know, fit. One thing about Calabar, Calabar is an elite society kind of. I cry for my don't don't I don't even think they prefer they prefer rice to, to, to Gary. Or, or food. Ah, my like my mom had to. Just, my mom had to see why soup in the morning. Yeah, very good. Cut off, you know, 
Like, when my mom morning. was around 8 o'clock, you don't see that food on the ready. You know, my mom operated and she sold rice and beans. Like, part of, like, rice and beans was among the, Just was among the menus. Yeah. In our food, but she normally sometimes she comes back with the rice. I but kidding me. I'm telling you the truth. Like she comes back with the rice and the eba and soup. So she had to drop off the rice. She had to just drop I off, sure. cut off the rice from. So the taste there's the more rice. for swallow and yeah, the heavy more of swallow than rice. But that, that also tells you the kind, the, the nature of the people. You know. That, that reside in those areas. Yeah. And like Calabar, you, you know, they, they are... claim they are more polished. <laughs> no. Uh, kind of. So they, they, more... they, they... Uh, the one thing me I see in Calabar is that is, uh, no, you people have a lot of tribes than us. So many. Yeah, so, no, so, so some of those tribes prefer their own for like yam, okay. uh, planting. But if you, if you go to this book, as you won't see those yam and the rest that you see. And I feel, in terms of when it comes to uh, people, they are kind of more traditional. That's what I'm saying. Because it comes like it boils down to their language. Calabar is an integrated society, more yeah. integrated than Akwaibo. I would say it more boils, cosmopolitan yeah. than Akwaibo. It boils down to their language. Like my people, you you hardly get someone use English with a fellow Akwaibo man. Because we prefer our own dialect more than English. Like, I had someone watch my YouTube video the other day, and I was like, I, I watched that. They said, uh,